tap swap. I, I feel tap swap is going to shock everybody. And I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why I think so. Let's go, guys. Now, it's been nine months since tap swap started, and everyone has actually given up on tap swap because of the whole postponement of the TGE and launch dates. First, they said they were going to launch around July, I'm going to have that TGE around July, and then they postponed to October. Now, they are saying on the 24th of this month, they are going to be launching. People have actually stopped using their TapSwap app, including me, myself, until recently that I got back on the app. So, one of the deal breaker was when they said they wanted to change from Solana to Ton. More like they were trying to make a difference by using the Solana blockchain. Everyone believed in them at some point, and then all of a sudden, they switched from Solana blockchain to Tom blockchain. So that's one of the deal breakers that got people. And another deal breaker again was when they said that we should pay a certain amount of fee to double our tap swap balance. That was when a lot of people gave up on the project. And then the last one that I think made people literally just dump the app was when they said that we have to start watching videos and they kept postponing the launch dates and things like that. That was one of the reasons why a lot of people actually gave up on the project. But one reason why I think tap swap would be a shocker, I'm going to be saying in a couple of seconds, right? Now, a project that does so well is always that project that nobody pays attention to. Remember when Northcoin started, a lot of people were like, this is bullshit. Like the idea behind this whole thing is, that doesn't make sense. And when it launched, it shocked a lot of people. And one of the reasons why it was like that was because there were so many airdrops on Telegram then. Before Northcoin came on board, there were so many airdrops and many of those airdrops you find on Telegram were all scam. So that kind of, that kind of made people just lose faith and they didn't even believe so much in Notcoin. And Notcoin cleared our doubts. Notcoin shocked everyone then. And then a lot of people now started coming back to Telegram. One thing I feel that's going to happen is that a lot of people is not going to qualify for the airdrop. And I've been seeing rumors on Twitter saying that they've already taken a snapshot. They've just not announced and all and all, but I don't think they've taken a snapshot because that would be cunning for them not to inform everyone that they've taken a snapshot and then you just take the snapshot. It doesn't even make any sense. They have to announce the snapshot dates before they take the snapshot. But now I'm going to be showing you the criteria that you need to meet if you want to qualify for this airdrop. So, but before I do that, let's talk about the platforms that are willing to list TapSwap. Now, TapSwap is set to list on BigGet and they are also currently negotiating with OKX and KuCoin. And I think KuCoin and OKX are going to accept them and they're going to also list on OKX and KuCoin. But the thing about this whole TapSwap thing is that no news about the two giants we have, which are Binance and Bybit. If they don't list on Binance and Bybit, well, I don't know. It's going to be a little... It's not going to really make sense. So I hope Bybit and Binance considers them to list them. Now, I'm going to be going to my phone screen to show you a couple of things that you should take note of and make sure that you've done if you want to qualify for their airdrop, right? So let's go, guys. So when you come to your TapSwap app like so, you are going to come to this place here that says a drop, right? And when you click on the drop, it's going to bring up this page, right? And they're saying that the criteria for the drop will be determined based on the player activity, taking into account several key factors listed below, as well as additional considerations that we don't know about, right? So we are also fully aware of dishonest player and rest assured they will not be eligible for the airdrop. So for those of you that were using Autobot, sorry, they've said that you won't be <laughs> qualified for this airdrop. But then here is a list of key points that you should take note of if you want to be qualified for this airdrop. The first one is the number of shares. So the amount of people that you've referred, right? You are going to put that into consideration. And then the other one is the number of taps, right? Your number of taps is also going to be considered. Then the third one is the leagues. The fourth one is the Tappy Town achievements, right? I'm going to take you to the Tappy Town to give you a little bit of explanation about the Tappy Town. The, the fifth one, if I'm not mistaken, is the completed task, right? There are so many tasks right now that I myself have not even completed, but then I'm looking to completing it. And then the last one is the earned blocks, right? Now, for the Tappy Town, you come over here that says Tap Town here. When you come over here that says Town, you click on it, this is the Tappy Town, right? So 
this is a tapi town right so it's more like a game yeah so you just participate around here what, what you need to do basically this increases like looking any of these items you are seeing we give you a higher mining rate right it's just you it's it's almost the same as the one we had on Amsterdam back then but then just a different concept a different idea right it's just like a town that you can go to each of these points here this sales point here and then you buy when you buy it increases your mining rates right 100 per hour so you can get more money rates here when you buy right this one now will cost about 500 shares so there's nothing that um, complex it's a no-brainer right just to boost your money rates right you can just participate a couple of times just to make sure that you are fit for the airdrop right and now the other one is the task right you can see there's so many tasks and most of them are just watching videos i must say those videos are actually very long i'm not even going to lie how many videos do i want to even watch but then we're going to try to watch, you know, a couple of videos because I've come too far not to even finish this airdrop. So what's the point of even starting something you won't finish? I, I don't believe in that. Whenever I start something, I always like to finish it. So that's one of the things that you should also consider, you should also have in mind. And then you can also connect your wallet, right? So you can connect your wallet right here. You can connect your wallet right here. So we'll do all of that. But then the most important thing is that just take note of all these points right here and make sure that you meet all the requirements so you can be eligible for that airdrop. So guys, I would also leave the link for those of you that are not yet signed up. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can sign up. So that's basically what I brought about TapSwap and let's see what happens from here. Let's see if TapSwap is going to actually cook or not. A lot of people are not optimistic when it comes to tap swap but let's see how it goes so that'll be the end of today's video guys i'm going to see you in the next one but until then bye for now